I don't know that I've ever felt more disappointed in a um, in a public servant, which is what he is. It's not your job to go around telling New Zealanders they're horrible white supremacist races because they're not. Um, and, you know, so let, let's just look at, at, at what Paul Hunt wants. The I mean, I don't know. who Did we pay someone to make these bloody reports? Um, Truth and Reconciliation Commission. This is some South African history. A court-like body established by the New South African government back in 1995 to help heal the country and bring about a reconciliation of its people by uncovering the truth about human rights violations that occurred during the period of apartheid. Its emphasis was on gathering evidence and uncovering information from both victims and perpetrators and not on prosecuting individuals for past crimes, which is how the Commission mainly differed from, and this is what they compare the Truth and Reconciliation to, the Nuremberg trials that prosecuted Nazis after World War II. The Commission released the first five volumes of the report on October 29th, 1998, and the remaining two volumes of the report on March 21st, 2003. Um, the unbanning of liberation movements and opposition political parties in 1990 by President F.W. de Klerk, the release from prison of Nelson Mandela and the lifting of the state of emergency in, in South Africa paved the way for a negotiated peace settlement between the apartheid regime and those who fought against it. So that's the context of truth and reconciliation in South Africa. And that Paul Hunt has spent public money commissioning a report that suggests that there are any comparisons to be made to New Zealand in the year 2023 is outrageous, ridiculous and offensive. And I think it calls actually... I think it calls for the immediate resignation of Paul Hunt as the Human Rights Commissioner in New Zealand. That he could preside over such an outrageously woke and stupid report that is so grossly and fundamentally offensive to so many New Zealanders beggars belief. And if Chris Hipkins really means, really means to signal a change in the ridiculous woke separatism and division that has been going on in this country through three waters and co-governance and issues of race, it is time that he as Prime Minister called Paul Hunt into his office and suggested that he find work elsewhere. There you go. I've got that off my chest. And I want to ask whether you agree with that or not. Shane Jones said he should go. I don't think we should have to wait. And I think Chris Hipkins can send a very clear signal to this country and to non, and I'm not going to say non Maori, to non woke PC New Zealanders of every race, every colour, every age. And can he, he can say, Paul Hunt has us all wrong. We are better than he suggests. We are not apartheid, South Africa. And Mr Hunt, you have misread this country so badly, you must leave your public position.